is happening guys another episode of boost of elements for you um and today we're here in a unit on the ep3 um got my mate here on me he's uh, going to help me fit the diff in the, the the spare box i bought of him so now now i bought that box of him i'll have one two three, i'll have four gear boxes so um yeah i've got pl pl plenty of spare for when they start showering obviously i've got my new gear set coming from america soon as you know but yeah, today the plan is to, uh, I swear every time I film, I always end up with a big spot on my face, all the time, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, no, um. You got a big bar, Yeah, um, there you go, right. So yeah, um, basically today we're gonna try and get the car prepped for Saturday. I'm gonna try and get down Santa Pod, um, and see what it runs. I've got some slicks that I will be getting fitted hopefully one day this week. Only cheap slicks, they're not, they're, they're, they're medium wall, like the medium tire wall, so they're probably not gonna be that great, but. It saves me killing me R triple eights, and also it's just just a bit of fun just to see what the car's hitting. So I so said, if I can get on the um, in the elevens, I'll be happy. But yeah, this is what we're doing today. So yeah, you see, you've got the setup in here. All right. Um, yeah, we're gonna start pulling it apart. Spare box diffs over there, and yeah, basically just gonna get on with it. Right, we finally got the gearbox apart. Obviously, I haven't got all my tools down here, so I had to pop to the shop to get some tools. But now, I'm gonna put the new diff in it. Um, yeah, it's obviously my first time doing anything to do with a gearbox. Um, I've helped take them apart before when I was at MMC. But, oh, there's a bit of, bit of shrapnel on there, but it's very common, that's a magnet, so. But yeah, like I said, I've not really done, um, <coughs> much on these before so we're gonna try and get out the only thing is i just realized we might need a press <laughs> let's see how we get on right so we have her all apart the quaif is out of the box and it's on the final drive so the diff is on there there's a stock diff so now we've just got to um talk these down we're gonna use a vice um and then we've got the bearings there to go back on the ends. And yeah, we'll try and get the box back together. And then once that's back together, we can focus on getting this one out and then getting it in the car. Um, it's pretty accessible. I've took all the main stuff out to get to it. So yeah, fingers crossed we can uh, try and get as far as we can today. All right, guys, managed to get the box back together. Um, fingers crossed it's all okay. It seems okay. All the selector and things like that, but um, yeah, um, basically it's got a diff in it now, so it's all back together, it's all been sealed. Um, and now basically, obviously, got all the subframe off on this. Literally, now I just got to undo the bolts on the gearbox and then the engine mounts, and then slide this one out. So, as you can see, the whole car is in absolute bits. Kieran's having a sleep underneath, but um, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, so we're, we're just gonna try and bang it out as quick as we can because it uh, took quite a bit longer than we expected because obviously we've not done gearboxes before. But um, yeah, it seems all okay. So um, fingers crossed it all goes well. All right, old box is out, guys. Nothing wrong with it, but didn't have a slip differential in it, so. Limited slip differential, so now you see the clutch on the car, stage four. I'll see if you watch the channel, you know you've seen it in the build anyway. New box ready to go in. Hopefully at least get the box all bolted up ready today and then perhaps come and finish it tomorrow. See how far we can get. But it's a, it's a big job as you can see, it's not like a two minute thing. But we're, I'd say halfway through now, so. Just over halfway through, including putting the differential in the box. Um, yes, yeah, so there's tools everywhere. There's mess everywhere. But it don't matter, as long as the car gets done. That's all that matters. All right, guys, so we had the um, the box with the diff fitted, which I'm going to give you this one. As you can see, the difference. That is no diff. Oh, so I say stock, that's stock diff. 
and that is a quaif. Um, we had it all fitted. All right, just to let you guys see that it's not us being silly, or anything like that. Quave Honda Civic EP3 ATB Differential. Okay, that's the code on the box, everything. Now, the car shaft. No matter what you do, it's as far in as it goes. It was bolted up on the engine, we had it all in. They do not fit the differential. Don't ask me how, because it's saying it is for EP3. But look, it don't, quite clearly. So, but as you can see on this one, look at it, straight away in tight. There you go. So, I don't know what the hell has gone on here. It states it's for EP3, as you can see on the box. Brand new, not no second hand, bought from Demon Tweaks. But it don't fucking fit. So I'm not happy. I'm gonna give them a call after, like, I've got no signal where I am. Give them a call later and have it out of them. All right, guys, I don't know where I'm gonna throw this in on what video. Um, whether I'm gonna throw it in on the video with a diff or the video coming after. Anyway, but I'm just gonna show you what's turned up because I'm quite happy about it. And um, a little girl's gonna help me unbox it quickly for you. All right, guys, as you can see, goodies goodies and goodies now my little girl's gonna open them for you she's gonna show me what, what's in this one oh look four piston genuine oil pump um obviously i'm gonna be revving a lot higher i think um obviously it's a stock pump but i believe that they pour it itself but i might do a video actually um, a bit later on when i build the engine of me Sort of not, well, having a look inside and see exactly what they do to a four piston pump just for everyone on the channel. Just take it a little apart a bit and see what's, what's the deal with it because obviously I know they port it. But, um, it's only a stock pump. So there's no, I don't know if they change the gear and I don't think they do, um, or it's just a massive porting they do. So, but yeah, that's the oil pump. And now, uh, what's in these ones? Let's have a look. Oh, oh, careful, 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 careful. Easy, easy, easy. Right. That's it, leave it, leave them ones in there. Right. So. We have valves. Skunk 2 valves. Um, I've heard some bad things about the tops of them, though. Um, apparently, these snap off. So I'm hoping they don't, obviously. Um, yeah, so obviously I just got stock size valves, but obviously skunk too, so I want a decent valve, um, stock compression. Um, you can see at the bottom, it's stock, stock compression and stock size. I just want this strength, that's why I really got them. So yeah, that's my skunk two valves, and I'm put them away. Look at these. Titanium springs and retainers. They was not cheap, I can tell you that now. I can tell you that, guys, they was not cheap. Um, I've got the invoice here. Um, ouch. But that's what happens when you build a proper engine. So, yeah. Dual springs and retainers, obviously, for the lot. I've got the full skunk to owner's kit. Oh, and a nice sticker there. Um, so yeah, I've got quite, quite a lot of the, a lot of the stuff. And I'm waiting for the block to come back from Future Motorsports. So as you can see, guys, I'm pretty serious about this build. There's no beating about the bush. Um, 
I'm just gonna whack this all in as a video and let you know where I'm at at the moment. Um, the car is back and it is driving. Um, basically, as you can see with a diff in the earlier clips, um, that's another differential from Demon Tweaks that doesn't fit, that's two now, and that's a lot of labor that has gone into the car for no reason because of Demon Tweaks. Um, well, this one might may not be their fault because on the box, obviously you see it, it said K20 EP3. So yeah, the car is running back on a stock diff yet again. Uh, absolute bloody headache, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it, to be honest with you. This, this diff and gearbox stuff has really got to me, pissed me right off. Um, so yeah, basically the plan is now, um, I'm gonna be getting another diff from elsewhere. I'm gonna ring up Demon Tweaks today and have a chat with them. Say to them, I wanna just send you the differential back on my money back, it's just, it's been, too many times now, it's just, I'm just really sick of it, to be honest with you. I took the whole gearbox out, as you can see. We put the one back in with a new diff, the Quave diff. And well, turns out, as you see, the drive shafts didn't fit in it. So all that labor for absolutely nothing. And obviously, yeah, perhaps some people, when you when um, experienced gearbox builders um, are going to, to, to install the diff, perhaps they check the shaft first in the differential i don't know i mean I'm, I'm not an experienced gearbox builder i never say i was so me and kieran um had a go at it and obviously we didn't check that until after it was in the box but i don't know if that's a common thing to check or not to be honest with you um do many people check it i don't know no i couldn't tell you but we didn't and fit the gearbox back on the engine as you can see and the shafts didn't fit in so took all that back out it was a stressful day yesterday got the car running again um drove down the road no speedo, no VTEC, no nothing. So obviously the speed sensor works with that. Um, put that back together. Um, obviously now, now I've got all the bolts in the engine mount. That one engine mount had bolts missing and the front um, engine mount on the subframe was perished before. It was the only one that I didn't change in the car because it didn't come with a kit for some reason. Um, but Kieran had some old inserts from his EP3. We put the inserts on it now. The engine is a lot more solid, but it still does pull me all over the road. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, what I'm the next thing to do is I, I've, I've mucked about with the spring rates a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna look at tire pressures. So yeah, basically I'm, I'm planning to uh, try and get down Santa Pod this Saturday because they've got to run what you brung. Obviously I'll be an open diff, which is pretty annoying, but I just want to go down there and see where the car's at. I've got some slicks, as you see, I've got to try and get time to get them fitted. Um, the car will run a little bit rich this morning because it was a cold morning. Um, but yeah, so a little video for you guys. I didn't really have much to film other than that, but um <coughs> excuse me. I thought I'd um I right, keep you updated every step of the way. So yeah, we've got no diff, we've got a stock diff again and the car's still fast, but I'm looking to probably get an M factory plated diff in there now because I'm sick of this quay thing. It's really annoying to be honest with you. I um I've got some big news coming at the weekend as well. I'm not allowed to tell you yet. Big news, but really big news for the channel. Um, I've been told I'm not allowed to say nothing yet. So, yeah, it's another, like, it's on the up. This channel is on the up majorly. So, as you see, I'm putting the work in, putting the effort in, working my back off to try and make the channel work. I've um, got a lot of, all the guys who ask hoodies, we've um, got a batch coming in tomorrow. Probably got about another 20 to send out. It's a, uh, yeah, I've got quite a lot going out at the moment. So, the uh, guy, I'm getting them done, obviously the first order was like five and then it went up to 10 and then it was like, I think the next order was 12 and now it's up to 20, 22 or something like that. So he's struggling to keep up at the moment, but I, I didn't expect it to take off that big. So thank you for all the support. Um, believe it or not, I'll probably make about two pound off each hoodie towards the channel. Um, I'm not really doing it to make profit or nothing like that. I'm doing it to, well, I'd say to make two pound. By the time I get the petrol to go and get them and that, I don't really make anything. So. I'm doing it just to get the channel out there and basically just if someone wants a bit of clothing to help support the channel thanks for buying it i mean that's basically the reason i'm doing it um everyone who's purchasing hoodies will get free sticker with each one and yeah thanks for the support i said really means a lot honestly really means a lot the views have gone up subscribers have gone up a lot and i'm rambling on there so i'll stop rambling on for you anyway um like, subscribe, share. Big video coming Saturday. Trust me, big video coming Saturday. Hopefully, if I go run what you bung. But anyway, there's some big news. So make sure you stay in tuned because keep that notification bell on. There's some big news coming. Take care, guys.